All right, it is that time again. If you are interested in promoting your brand, your music, or even yourself here on Viral Hip Hop News, email me, Sam Ant, at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. Let's go. Dang, but let's jump into the topics when we had to get that out the way first. Um, Stephen A. Smith went on a you know what rant. I can't say it. Ra- raccoon rant. Mm-mm. The other day, going in on BET for honoring O.J. Simpson. This is the BET Awards. This is a celebration of blackness, of black culture, of black entertainment, of black excellence. And when you do something like this, you got folks outside the community. See that? See that shit? TMZ talking about it. NBC talking about it. CNBC talking about it. CBS talking about it. USA Today talking about it. PBS, everybody but PBS. When that kind of stuff happens, how do you think that benefits us? And that's a story that we don't get into nearly as much as we should. Did did it ever occur to anybody? To remind yourself of the responsibility we have. I'm not blaming any of the folks there in the audience. They didn't know. And even though PET is owned by Paramount, it's still BT. Black folks everywhere. All up in there. And that's what we celebrate. We, as a community, are going to be held accountable for that. Subliminally, subconsciously. People are going to look at us with raised eyebrows and think as a community, oh, you down with that. You cool with that. That's what you celebrate. The collective whole is what matters. Not one individual. Not one individual. God rest his soul. God will deal with him because God knows what he did and what he didn't do. It ain't for me to judge or anybody else to judge. But we saw what we saw. The trial was televised. His actions and his dismissiveness and disassociation and distance from the black community was self-inflicted. He created that. He wanted nothing to do with us. Where's this affinity for him? Where's the evidence that he ever gave a shit about us? I just don't understand. And I think that when it comes to something like that, you got to guard against that. I'd love to know if Tia Maury knew anything about that. Because had that been me, and they asked me to MC that segment, and I saw that OJ was a part of it, I would not have done it. And if I was on that stage and his face popped up, I would have been mic'd up on camera and I would have been like, I don't know whose idea that was, but I don't have anything to do with that. I didn't know. That's what I would have said. Now, everybody ain't me and I understand that. And I'm not judging in regards to her or anybody else. I'm just saying, come on. Come on. We all suspect we know what he did, but nobody definitively knows what he did. But God himself, OJ himself, and of course the souls of Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson. So it'll be for God to judge. But I gotta tell you, that was a bad look on the part of the BET Awards. It really, really was. Don't get me started with all that twerking and all of that stuff. I had to tell my daughter was on the phone with me. I I made her turn the channel. I'm going to just leave it at that. My teenage daughter, I want to see in that. All that damn twerking and asses hanging out and all that. Nah. Nah. But this stuff with OJ, it can't get much more classless than that. Did our brother Faison love which I will warn you now, I'm going to play it, but it's a lot of vulgar. We'll probably have to edit it out, a yeah. lot of the cuss words. But let's hear what Faison said. This Stephen A. Smith, man, I don't know. Where, where do you come from? Do they groom you? Where the f*** do you come from? You mad because BT is celebrating OJ? Who else going to celebrate him? He was found innocent. 
in the court of laws, the white laws. But your dick nose is going to go on talking about how, are you crazy? You would have did this. You would have did that. Where did you come from? Where the do you come from? I've never seen some lazy house shit. You ain't even a house. House. Who the f is? That's what Kendrick's talking about. They are not like us. They are not like you. Fuck you on talking about OJ. Are you crazy? I didn't know. I actually didn't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> now. Golly. A lot of that ain't going to be able to get played. Man. Most of that's going to cut out. But I have to say I agree. And like he said, like, yo, I mean, I, I get is a negative connotation when it comes to OJ. You know, a lot of people think that he did it. They think. They think he's a scumbag. They think he's dirt. They think he's this. Like he said, he was acquitted. He went through the court. He went through the process. Do I think that he did it? I honestly still don't know. You may say something different than me. Mm -hmm. I honestly still don't know if he did it or not. Maybe he knows. Maybe whatever. The case. He, he was acquitted. So we need to treat him as such. I don't think it was fair. They took his Heisman from him. I don't, I don't think it was fair what happened to him. If you go through the court and they deem you innocent, we should treat you as innocent. But this society, they're going to go with whatever they feel, whatever they think. It's because it was two white people that were killed. Even though when you look at Nicole, her sleeping around, and you know, I heard a lot of different things I'm not going to get into. Phase on Love is exactly right. Maybe a little bit of cuss word, maybe a little bit of this. But then it's like, this is the things we talk about the Stephen A. Smiths, and we say, damn, this is stuff we talk about, Stephen A. As much as you're a great commentator, you always attacking black, bro. You were just, who was you just attacking a couple of weeks ago? He was just attacking. I forgot he was attacking. He was attacking somebody, and we had to we had to um you know speak on that. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. Well, it was well. Will, Will Smith. Smith. You Will attacking Smith. Will like in, in, in his high, the highest moment of his career, great movie that they did. You now you attacking a man that's dead. That's the stuff we talking about, Stephen A. But go ahead, Sam. Bothers me, man, because you know I like Stephen A. Smith, but it's like, bro, even if you felt that way, let me talk about OJ real quick because. It doesn't matter what we think. It doesn't matter if we think he was guilty. It doesn't matter if we think he was innocent. The court found him innocent. That man was walking around innocent. He was a legendary NFL player. If BET deemed him innocent and they wanted to recognize him, they are 100% in their right to do it. Right. And if you don't like it as a brother, I'd rather you said absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't warranted for you to say shit about O.J. Simpson in that moment of time at the BET Awards. Wasn't nobody thinking about that. In fact, we were talking about how the BET Awards wasn't for the culture because a lot of the performances that were highlighted. Will Smith did a phenomenal job. Yeah. I thought the yeah. tribute to Usher was well done. But there was also some bullshit on there that was bad for the culture that you could have easily highlighted given the music aspect of it. And I don't want to hear about you do sports and all this shit because you do plenty of things other than sports nowadays on your personal platform. Yeah. You took that moment in time. No one told you to do it. ESPN didn't have a gun in your head. No one had a battery in your back. You went on your own platform and decided, I'm going to take this time to get at OJ. For what? Man. And that's what I think people are so frustrated about. Why do you take these moments in time to do things and to bring attention to things that have absolutely nothing to do with the situation. If you really care about black, silence is just as powerful as you running your mouth sometimes. And if you didn't bring it up, no one would even think about it. I hear soul, a soul, white, black, purple, whatever, mad at O.J. Simpson being honored for what, five seconds at the BET Hip Hop Awards. So I, I just, I don't understand the timing. I don't understand the reasoning. Yeah. And Although I we we can't articulate it like our guy Faison, and that's our bro, that's our dude. Yeah, yeah. I agree with him a thousand percent, man. Yeah, Faison's always been loyal. I'm one of the realest dudes in the industry. Always going to answer your text. Always going to pick up the call. So shout out to Faison. So when he's saying something, it's coming from a real genuine, you know, place. He don't speak often on stuff. Nah. And when he speaks on stuff, it you really must have 
you know, um, rough, rough with his nerves. But yeah, that's hundred percent. I mean, you dropped it on that, drop bombs on that. It's nothing really more to add to it, but it's just like you gotta look at like is there agenda behind this? Like then it's like he, like you said, all the negative stuff that went on, you picked that to talk about. He's not in touch with our struggle, man. This dude's a ten, twenty, thirty million dollar a year guy. He's been detached from our struggle for thirty, forty years ago mm. when he was working at the Enquirer and all that stuff. Like he he can't he can't see struggle no more. He's in Beverly Hills. He's driving a Rolls Royce. He don't know what the struggle is. He don't know what the grassroots is no more. That's why he could sit on his high horse and talk down on it. Oh God, we were real young when he was covering Iverson in the Philadelphia Inquirer, and we had a lot of love for him as a, as kids. You know what I'm saying? Watching him, he got quite frankly on ESPN too. I know I was proud as hell as a kid watching this brother that talk like us, speak like us, sit there. We didn't know the nuances of what was really going on. I want to say that. Did you? When when did you have this feeling about Stephen A? That damn, what's up with dude? When he always screaming and hollering on the screen, man. Mm. I mean, it's like you know. Even back then, kind of like he he would attack certain you know um, players and things in Philly and whatnot. He and, and and you know Philadelphia media. He comes from that cloth. Of, they they're one of the worst media, probably the worst media, disgusting media that you'll find out there. That make up narrative. That want to keep dissension going. Like they actually want to keep things going between the team. They they prefer the dirt. They prefer you know bad things going on and sometimes you have media people that even make things up i'm not saying that stephen a smith right, right, right. ever did that i think he you know integral for the most part but um i can't pick a particular time but when i seen him on tv start attacking black start attacking brothers like he had to be you know the zip coon that you know the one that said oh they running away master yo mm. they running you know how back in the day they would have the bell <laughs> they told they told the white folks to ring the bell. He'd be the first run up. Bing, 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 yo! Damn, that's him. That hurts me, man. And it's sad. That hurts. As much as times as you think he's for us and this, that, and the third, this is one of the times, like you said, he said to shut his damn mouth. If he was really for us, right? Nobody was bringing the shit up. Right. And it's another thing. I will talk about Faison before we move on. A lot of people call Faison a hater, and I know a lot of his takes aren't exactly what everyone wants to hear right but go back and listen to some of them takes and see if the people don't agree with it y'all just don't want to agree with it in the moment of time because it's not popular but a lot of y'all comments kind of feared steer the world what phase be saying whether it be about Chappelle, whether it be about hove whether it be about whoever else he done talked about in the industry whenever he talked about it right name me sometimes he was wrong even right. though you may disagree with him. Shout out to our bro, Faison, man. I want to get your thoughts on this. Um, we kind of already knew this. But